Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 5 dash 8. So, in this problem, the solid 30 millimeter diameter shaft is used to transmit the torque applied to the gear. Determine the absolute maximum sharing stress on the shaft. So, you can see the diameter of this shaft is 30 millimeter that is given and the torque is applied at end A and B as well as on the gear. So, you have to determine the max absolute maximum sharing stress of the shaft. So, as we know that sharing stress is equal to T into C divided by J. So, for maximum sharing stress, we will need maximum torque. Clear? How we will find the maximum torque? Again, you have to section the shaft at various section uh, at various points along the length and you will find the um, internal torque that is created. So, if I cut it from here and draw the front view, so the shaft is like this and there is a counterclockwise, clear? A counterclockwise torque is given. This is point A. So, T A will be equal to clockwise rotation. So, T A will be equal to the torque that is available over here which is 300 Newton into meter. So, T A will be equal to 300 Newton into meter. Now, if you cut the shaft over here at this point, let's say for example, this was 1. So, 1. If you cut it from here and draw the frontal view, so you can see this is the shaft. This is gear. Clear. The torque on shaft A is counterclockwise, which is 300 Newton into meter and the torque that is on gear is again clockwise because you can see this is in clockwise and this is counterclockwise. So this is this is in counterclockwise and this is in clockwise. Again if I draw it like this, so this is counterclockwise and this is clockwise and this portion will have the torque that is T C D and this T C D will be equal to the, the, this value is 500 Newton. So, this is in counterclockwise and this is in clockwise. So, net 200 required that is in counterclockwise direction. So, again counterclockwise direction this would be equal to 200 Newton into meter. Third portion is if you cut this beam over here clear and draw the free body diagram. So, again I have, have to draw it. So, this is one gear. There is portion. There is a second gear. This is point A. This is point C. This is point D and this portion if where we want to find the torque is TDB. Clear? The torque over here is given as counterclockwise that is 300. The torque that is on this portion is in clockwise direction. Clear? And the torque over here is also clockwise direction. So, I have drawn like this. So, this value is 500 and this is 200. Now, you can see 200 and 500 both are in same direction and 300 is in opposite direction. So, we need 400 torque. So, 400 Newton into meter and that will be again equal to in counterclockwise direction. So, it will be like, so if you draw it, it will be in counterclockwise direction. And if you sh want to show it on the graph, so let we have this length and we have for, for example from A to this length is 300 millimeter. So let this is 0 0.3 meter from this point to this, this is total 700. So for example, 
from this point to this this is 700 meter which is 0 0.7 meter and the last one is total is from this to this this is 1200 meter which is 1.2 meter so if you want to show this is x in meter the length while this is the torque clear so let each torque is uh, divided this one is uh, 100 uh, for example if you want to draw it proper scale so you can do it so let for example this is 100 newton into meter 200 300 so similarly 100 200 300 so first internal torque is 300 clear and that is clockwise and clockwise is taken as negative so minus 300 first point is this at TCD this is 200 and that is counterclockwise so it will be positive so again this is 200 positive so it will be this point so you have to draw horizontal line and then at this point this goes to 200 clear now at a distance of 700 and we are talking about the third uh, third portion where the TCD is uh, TCB this portion third TCB is 400 so again 400 uh, so you have to um, okay so this portion is for this one clear now here this TCD is 200 again the, in this portion there is nothing so from 0 0.3 to 0 0.7 there is no change add after 0 0.7 meter so we have 400 so 200 and this is 200 so this point so this will be the torque and it will go till end and there is a 400 counterclockwise and it will go down so from this diagram you can see the maximum torque is this is 400 so from here you can also get 400 or from here or from all this free wire diagram you can see maximum torque is 400 so you can use either this method or if you have a clear understanding about how to draw this so you can directly go to this uh, graph as well and draw, can draw it to get the maximum torque so from these two we know we 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 can get that maximum torque is 400 newton into meter now you will find the maximum sharing stress and maximum sharing stress is equal to maximum torque into c divided by j maximum torque is 400 c we will check the diameter is 30 millimeter so c will be equal to 15 millimeter and 15 millimeter in term of meter will be equal to 0.015 here divide by polar moment of inertia which is equal to pi by 2 r4 and r is 0.015 power 4 when you calculate this so you will get the maximum sharing stress and maximum sharing stress comes out to be 75.5 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal which is, is again equal to 75.5 mega pascal i hope you have enjoyed this video and i always try to uh, try to to show you the various method from which you can get the solution so this was first method this is uh, free by using free wire diagram and this was a uh, graphical method so you can get the same answer by using both of these method thank you for watching and supporting me